Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you tonight? Great. Okay, very good. And you? I'm fine too, thank you. I'm seeing this lamp is kind of um, having troubles. Let's see. Maybe is this better? Yeah. I there. Think, I think so. Okay, it's better. <laughs> it was right on the lamp, right? That that was too clear. So that yes, I like better. Yeah. It's because of the glasses you can see my eyes, and it's very important for the action and all the gesture. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do that, but Without my glasses, I can't see. I can't see. No, <laughs> I'm blind, so I have to. <laughs> okay, there we are. Like me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, we are just like, I mean, just the same. Look, and um, I was wondering, how is your dad now? Is he getting well? Um, yeah, much better. Okay. Then, uh, okay. Uh, so you went to the hospital? Um. No. Uh. He fell down um, because okay. uh, of the bed, and he had mm -hmm. paralyzed the um, the half in the, the body. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. So, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we miss you yesterday. No, yeah. we missed you last yeah. night. Hello, Wendy. How are you tonight? Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Is it uh, raining over there? How is the weather? Is it raining? Hi. Okay. Como, como está el clima? How is the weather? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Mm. Is I it see. raining? Rain? Oh, de calor. Uh, no. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. No. There are some places, there are some places that it is raining at the moment and they say that it is a very hard rain that is falling down. So, well. Let's hope that everybody can connect tonight, right? Well, we're going to start because we have a lot to do tonight. So hello, Karina, welcome. And Ana del Carmen, hi. Hello, hello Carlos teacher. Eduardo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Carlos. Fine, thank you. And Edwin, hello. Hello, Juan Carlos. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance at, the, at this moment, okay? Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Okay. Thank you. There we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present, teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez. Mejía. Present. Okay, there you are. Carla Verónica Suria López. No, Carla. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. 
Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Beto Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Aurielena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, uh, I don't know if you saw in the platform that I uploaded a discussion. So I share a link. Hi, Vladimir, welcome. Present teacher. Okay, oh, hello, Alejandra. Very good that you are Present here teacher. now. Hey, Nancy, hi. Okay, hi, let, let me check Let me check the, the attendance list, okay? Let's see. That was um, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Who is, is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let's see. Raquel. Ah, hi, Raquel. I haven't seen you here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to check the attendance list. Okay. Let me allow me. Hello, to do teacher. It. Good evening. Hi, Carla. How are you? Good evening. Bye. Very good. Uh, let's see. Carla. Carla. Okay. And Vladimir and Nancy. Okay. I think. Hey, Ali, there you are. Okay, we missed you. Uh, yesterday it's end of month or? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. The... Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I I finished to work at 10 p.m. Oh, sorry to hear that. So you were very busy. You were closing. It was a closure. Yes. Okay. I think I've got everyone here. So let's start now. I uh, was explaining about the platform. I uploaded a discussion. Okay, it's about um the material is a reading okay the material is a reading it's an article from forbes that's the link so you have to go and check that for um giving some opinions okay you're going to give some opinions el artículo trata sobre um, 16 cosas 16 things que se deben o que ellos consideran que es muy importante hacer al inicio de cada día de trabajo, ¿ok? Así que de eso es lo que vamos a platicar en la discusión en la plataforma, ¿ok? And uh, I just want you to read five, five things, las primeras cinco. La palabra skim, skim, que aparece ahí, mira, dice... Uh, read the article and skim. Quiere decir que usted solo va a sacar esos cinco para leerlos. El, el artículo es sumamente interesante. Usted puede leerlo todo si quiere. Pero vamos a hablar acerca de esas cinco cositas en la discusión, ¿verdad? Si para usted es importante, si para usted no es importante, si lo hace, si no lo hace. Esas opiniones son las que quisiéramos saber ahí, ¿ok? Uh, and I just... Uh, refer to one thing about breakfast. So if you can answer that specifically, I will appreciate that, okay? Because it's very important for us to manage, to manage in the language, 
these kind of questions, but they are very common. And we are talking about daily routines, okay? Daily routines and activities that we usually do. Okay. Uh, next thing, next thing is that uh, yesterday I sent a video. I sent also, I think it was, oh, I sent a link to via WhatsApp. También les envié el, el link via WhatsApp el, el, del artículo de esa revista, okay? Es muy interesante, so I, uh, I encourage you to read it. It's kind of hard, but I think you are going to enjoy that reading, okay? Now, we are gonna start the class, okay? Today's class. Let me share the screen. And here we are. Let's see the objective for today. Here we are. Okay, let's see, what is the objective of this unit? Do you remember the topic for this unit? Do you remember the topic for this unit, unit two? ¿Cuál es el tema de la unidad dos? Which one is Ongoing the Ongoing activities of the workplace. Okay, very good. So now what is the what is the specific objective for this unit? What are we going to learn? The specific objective for objective for this unit. Can you read it please, Vladimir? Uh, participant will be able to decision activities and events in the workplace and other mm -hmm. workplace environment. And other environments, okay. You are going to learn to describe activities and events in your workplace, okay? This is what we are learning, to use the present simple, time expressions, and also now we are going to use the adverbs uh, of frequency. Now we know how to ask questions about the activities and what does our coworker do and what our boss do, okay? And what do we do? So now we can express that. And we continue learning some other elements that are going to help us to describe that, okay? Now, what is the class objective? for today, okay, today. Let's see. Can you read it please, Nancy? This depends will be to eat and and also Okay. Now let's see, can you read it, uh, read it, Maria Elena, please, the class objective? Participant will be able to identify and use imperatives. Imperatives, okay. Imperatives. Very good. So this is our topic for today, how to use the imperatives, how, how to use imperatives to give instructions, to talk about things that we want someone else do. So we are going to learn about imperatives. Okay, someone else is going to do something. So that's what we are going to learn. Now let's see the agenda for today. What date is it today? What date is it today? Today is? June 1st. First. June 1st. First. June. 2021. 
Very July good. First, 2021. July or June? June. 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 Okay, very good. So we are in the video conference number seven. And the first thing we are going to do is to have our, um, our feedback. Okay, it's a little feedback about how often do you and adverbs of frequency. Then we are going to develop this topic imperatives. And then we are going to work in pairs, uh, splitting in breakout rooms. And then we are going to do some written activities. And then we are going to wrap up having a little chat. Okay. There we are. Para comenzar el feedback, para comenzar el repaso. Okay. We are going to do a brainstorm. I need everything that you know about leisure activities. Leisure activities. Do you remember what leisure activities are? Do you remember? No, teacher. Leisure activities are the activities that we normally do uh, when we don't go to work, when we have days off, or maybe it's holidays, or um, maybe it's uh, on your vacations, okay? Or maybe you go to work, but then you have some free time, okay? So those kind of activities. Do you remember yesterday I show you some pictures about those activities? Can you tell me the activities that we can do uh, when we don't go, when we don't attend work? Father's Day. Okay, that's a holiday, right? Father's Day. It's an event or a celebration. So it's not a leisure activity, okay? It's not a leisure activity. For example, a leisure activity, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the, uh, the slide from yesterday, okay? For you to remember, okay? These are leisure activities, okay? Do you remember the leisure mm -hmm. activities now? Yes. Okay, can you tell me the leisure activities or activities that you do in your free time? Go shopping. Okay, good. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. Read a book. Read a book. Excellent. Uh huh. Go to the play soccer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go surf, surfing. Go surfing, yes. Surf. Mm -hmm. Go to the park. Very good. Very good. Go to the park. Mm -hmm. Watch TV. Very good. Mm -hmm. Go to the digital English. Go to the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Study English. Oh, very good. And then it is an uh well uh an option, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know another one? River car, <clears throat> river motorcycle. Right. Uh, we're gonna say a bike 
and ride a motorcycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Swimming in a pool. Very good. Swimming in a pool. Very pool. good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Swimming. Okay, good. So if you see, these are activities that we do when we are not working, okay? Uh, these activities, we enjoy, we have entertainment, or maybe we go with our family or friends, right? Uh, sometimes we share time with friends, okay? Now, we were saying that, that we um, express these things, saying the frequency, okay? Saying, for example, the times that we do these activities. So can you tell me, please, the words that we learned yesterday saying the frequency, the adverbs of frequency? Mm hmm Always. Uh-huh. Uh, usually. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. often. Sometimes. Often. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Hardly, hardly ever. Correct. Oh. Hardly ever. Never. Occasionally. Never. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Occasion, occasionally. Occasionally. Okay. Okay. Occasionally. Right. I don't remember it's double S or, well, it's double L, but I don't remember about the S. Okay, let's Normal. say occasionally. One. Mm -hmm. One S or two S? Normal. Only one. Only one. Okay, thank oh. you. Normally? Seldom. Seldom, okay. Mm -hmm. Someone said generally, okay. We have another regularly, right? Okay, but in our in our table that uh, we have in the manual, we saw the, per the percent of the time, okay? The percentage of the times that we do something saying every, every um, adverb, right? Now, can you please, can you please make a sentence using go shopping and always, go shopping and always. I, I always go shopping. Very good. I always go shopping. Okay. Now let's see. You get one activity and tell me the frequency. How often do you do that activity? Or uh, let's make these up. Inventemos, right? Uh, let's play with these words. Uh, hagamos un juego con estas palabras y hagamos oraciones, okay? I'm going to say one name and that person is going to tell me using this vocabulary that we have here, okay? Let's see Juan Carlos. I hardly ever... It fits. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, Carlos Eduardo. I never go surfing. Okay. Very good. Edwin. Uh, I usually play soccer. Very good. Let's see. Carla Veronica. 
Um, how often do you eat pizza? How often do you eat pizza? Okay, this is a very good question. But now let's say the answer. Uh, Tell us the answer, Carla. How often do you eat pizza, Carla? Um, sometimes. Okay, I sometimes. I sometimes uh -huh. eat pizza. Eat pizza. Oh, I remember that I have the other thing here. And it is, oh, sorry. Oh, I erased everything. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I'm sorry because I took this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I sometimes eat pizza. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we remember how to use the adverbs of frequency and we usually answer the question, how often do you, right? Now let's go to our manuals and let's do this activity. Okay, this activity, let me erase this. And let's do this activity. What do we have to do? We have to add more questions, okay? Add more questions. What does it mean? That we have to use five more activities, okay? And we are going to ask, how often do you, okay? Here you have some examples of activities that you can use, okay? And I'm going to say two of you, okay, two of you to do this activity in number two, okay? Number two. I'm going to leave this thing and then, okay, here we are. Let me see some because I need to see them first. Okay, it is page 21. Page 21. Now let me share this again. There we are. Okay. El, que, el primero que digo hace la pregunta y el segundo que digo responde. Ok. Correcto. Quiere decir que ustedes van a escribirlo, la actividad acá que ustedes agregan y la respuesta, ¿verdad? La respuesta con su nombre. Por ejemplo, el primero que vamos a preguntarle. Escriben ahí el nombre. Este es solo para la actividad número dos que aparece acá, ¿ok? Para esta. ¿Correcto? Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? How often do you... Y agregamos una de las actividades. Ustedes pueden agregar la que ustedes quieran. Aquí tienen algunos ejemplos abajo, ¿ok? So you have some examples that you can use. Now, let's start. Let's see. Auri and Omar. Okay. Omar? Hear me? And how often do you go to the park? Um, I usually go to the park uh, in, in Sunday. 
okay. in Sunday um, in the morning. Okay. Okay, remember, I usually go to the park on Sunday morning, okay? Okay. Remember the preposition, it's very important. So we have to say on Sunday morning, okay? Okay, now, thank let, you, teacher. Okay, Omar, now let's see. Jonathan and Edwin. How often do you cook? Do you cook? I, I repeat, please. How often, often do you cook? Uh, I, I usually cook. Mm -hmm. cook. Cook. You know what is good? Cook. I, I usually cook. Cook. Cook is cocinar. Yes, I usually. Okay. So he usually cooks, right? So let's see Juan Carlos and Carlos. How often do you study English? I study in, um, I normally study English on the night. Okay, let's remember the preposition. I you I normally uh -huh. study English on the at, night. At, at night. At night. Excuse me, at the okay. night. At night. At night. Yes. yes. At night. Okay. There you are. So let's see. Carla and Wendy. Okay, Wendy. How often do you do you go to the beach? <laughs> I often the go to the beach. Okay, I often I often go to the beach. Often go to the beach. Okay, perfect. Now let's see Anna and Maria Elena. I often do you use the microwave? Um, sometimes I use, uh, sometimes I use the microwave. Okay, let's remember the, the placement of the adverb in the sentence. I sometimes use Teacher, the microwave. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell um, me. The frequency, uh, ¿será que no puede ir en, al principio? En... Yes, of course. Yes, of course. It could be. Entonces, I can say the usually I use the microwave. Yes. No es para todos los adverbios, verdad? Uh -huh. Algunos no, algunos no concuerda que lo ponga al principio, pero en su generalidad, okay. Generally, uh, the rule, the rule is that it can Always. be in the middle. Not always, not always. No. It can be in the middle or at the beginning of the sentence, but never at the end. Never mm -hmm. at the end of the sentence, okay? Okay. So you have to be careful with the expressions, the expressions using the, the adverbs. Because sometimes it sounds good at the beginning. Usually it sounds good at the beginning, okay? But there are some others that... Mm, es como es, eso se llama collocations collocations eso lo que significa es que por ejemplo uno está acostumbrado en su idioma a que hay unas palabras que van en esa posición usualmente ¿verdad? entonces por ejemplo nosotros en español decimos ah pero esas fotos eran en 
blanco y negro, decimos, right? Blanco y negro. Es una posición. Ah, va antes blanco y luego va negro. Eso se llama collocation. Porque mm. si yo digo, ah, esas fotos eran negro y blanco. Mm, no suena muy bien, ¿verdad? No nos suena bien. Así suena... Es. Suena correcto decir blanco y negro. Entonces, es lo mismo acá. Eh, a veces suena bien al principio, pero a veces suena mejor en el medio, entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero siguiendo la regla, sí se puede, ¿no? En the beginning and the middle. Yes, of course. Yes, of okay. course. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Now we have this um, uh, completed, this activity completed. So let me start sharing this and let me go over here because we're gonna see the imperatives, okay? We're going to study the imperative. Imperative. Okay, let me go there. Uh -huh. And let me share the screen. There you are. What are the imperatives? What are the imperatives? What do you refer? How to use that? When do we use that? Okay, then the imperative sentences are commands, orders, commands, right? For example, I say at this moment, Raise your hands, everybody. Raise your hands. Okay, that's a, an order, a command, right? Everybody smile. Smile. Okay. Everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want to see everybody with your eyes closed. Okay, now open your eyes. There you are. So those are commands, commands. Now, what about the instructions? Oh, those are imperatives too. Those are imperatives because with the instructions is the way to say someone how to do something. For example, I say to you, write your name write your name that's an instruction right how to fill out a form for example write your name at the beginning now or i can tell you always use okay always use capital letters use capital letters at the beginning of a sentence ah that's an instruction right that's an instruction it's kind of a rule okay kind of a rule so those are imperatives Como en español, ¿verdad? Dar órdenes. Let's read this, these sentences. Let's read these sentences. We're on the table and we say, hey, pass the salt. Pass the salt. Okay. Get me the salt, right? So, uh, this is a very... Um, disgusting thing but it's an imperative move out of my way right move out of my way I'm going this way right so move out of my way quítese de mi camino right move out of my way what is the next one it says shut the front door shut the front door so you have to go and close the door in the front, okay? In the front of the business, of the house, or where you are at that moment. Ah, or we can aware something of doing something correctly, right? So be aware at, uh, I'm sorry, be there at five, be there at five, okay? 
What does mommy say to the kid? Clean your room, okay? Clean your room, right? Don't you say it to your husband <laughs> or, right? Clean your room, aha. Uh -huh. ¿A quién le dijeron eso de chiquito? Yo se lo digo a mis hijos. Okay, good, good. Aha, uh -huh. so it's an order, it's a command, it's an instruction, okay? So let's see another. Complete this by tomorrow. Complete this by tomorrow. Okay, you need to finish that activity or you have to have the result by tomorrow. Okay, complete this by tomorrow. Imagine that you are with a friend buying some dresses and you say, hey, consider the red dress. Okay, giving advice. Okay, giving advice. Consider the red dress. So the red dress fits on you very well. It looks good. So you can say, consider the red dress, okay? O lo que normalmente le decimos, ¿verdad? Alguien que nos va dejando en el camino. Hey, wait for me. Wait for me. Espérenme, right? Hey, mucha, espérenme, hombre, right? Wait for me. Wait for me. Or, for example, uh, usually to the dog, right? We say, get out, get out, okay? Get out. So these are imperatives, orders, commands. Make sure you pack warm clothes. Ah, quizás va de campamento, right? O va de viaje. It's going, uh, he's going on a trip or maybe to camping. And they are giving advice, okay? Make sure you pack warm clothes. Now, next one, send me the file. Send me the file, okay? Another command. Okay, everybody please be quiet. Be quiet, shh, right? Be quiet, we are Asking for they to keep silence. Hey, please be quiet. Esta frase que está al principio de la segunda columna es bien importante en los kinders. <laughs> en los kinders, ustedes van a oír a las maestras. Hey, be nice to your friends. Okay, be nice to your friends. That's a very usual phrase. It's a very usual phrase on the kindergarten, okay? Lo que dice el árbitro eh, o el referee. Play ball, okay? Start the game, right? Start the game, so play ball. Now, imagine you are busy and someone said, oh, or the phone is ringing and then you say, hey, answer the phone, answer the phone, okay? Cuando nos dividimos el trabajo, por ejemplo, tenemos que decir que le toca a cada quien, ¿verdad? Entonces, work on the stats, trabaje en las estadísticas, okay? Work on the stats, yeah? Supervise the employees, supervise the employees. Okay, bring your earphones, okay? Bring your earphones for every video conference, right? You bring your earphones. Watch the videos, watch the videos. Now, sing the song, sing the song. And what the teacher says every night, every evening she's saying, repeat after me, okay? Repeat after me. O lo que se dice también, verdad? Al iniciar o al querer que alguien toque una canción. Uh, music, maestro, okay? 
music, maestro. That's a phrase, okay? That's expression. Practice your piano lesson. Do your homework, hey, everybody here in the class. Do your homework every evening after the class, okay? So these are expressions. Now, let's see, do you have any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? No? Um, I have a question, but... Um, we can use shul for the imperative. You should. Uh -huh. Claro que sí, claro que sí. Y eso es una forma polite, okay? Eso es una forma polite de decirlo, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Por eso vamos armando los elementos, ¿verdad? Ahorita estamos en el imperativo dando órdenes, instrucciones. No necesariamente los imperativos son malos, ¿verdad? Usualmente decimos, ve este dándome órdenes sin ninguna frase polite, ¿verdad? Sin ninguna frase amable. Eh, but no, not always. Not always the imperatives are bad. They are very useful to um, some activities for ex or, or for some jobs. For example, in the kitchen, okay, if you are a chef, you have some instructions how to prepare something. You have some instructions in other jobs to follow the processes, okay, to follow the processes. So those are the uses of imperatives, okay? No es solamente que estamos mandando a alguien a hacer una cosa, no. Uh, los imperativos, lo que tenemos que saber es esto. Hay frases que son así y no cambian. Entonces es bueno que las memoricemos de esa manera porque incluso se convierten como en una forma peculiar de decir algo o única de decir algo. La otra cosa que tenemos que tener en mente, the other thing that we have to recall when we use imperatives is that we don't say a subject, okay? No decimos el sujeto en la oración de imperativo. Una oración imperativa no mencionamos, no se necesita un sujeto, okay? Mencionar el sujeto. Now, not all the, not, uh, not every sentence, uh, is a command or an instruction, okay? There are some that they are like instructions, requests, or demands, okay? Some others are invitations, okay? Some others are invitations, okay? So not always we're gonna use should because that's giving advice, that's giving orders, commands, but for an invitation, we don't use should, but we use an imperative phrase, okay? But we use an imperative phrase. For example, here, number one, it says, preheat the oven. I'm sorry, preheat the oven, preheat the oven. Let's see, who wants to read next one? Use oil in the pan. Okay, use oil in the pan. Very good. Pan is la cacerola, right? Pan is la cacerola. Okay, so that's an instruction, right? Now let's see number three. Someone wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Uh, me. Okay, please. Uh, John need all the cooking. Okay. Done it, all the cookies. Very good, very good. Next one. Who wants to read it? Stop feeding the dog from the table. Okay, okay. Is that a request? It's a demand, it's a command, it's an instruction. What, what is it? What do you think? 
This one? What do you think it is? Is it an invitation? Is that the man? Okay. Okay, very good. It's a demand, it's a request. Very good. Now let's read the next one. Let's read next sentence, please. Who wants to read it? Um, come out with us tonight. Very good. Okay, everybody's ready. Let's go with Nancy was right now. Who was it? Uh, let's see. Karina, Karina, right? Karina read it. Okay. Let's go out with Karina tonight, guys. Okay. <laughs> so very good it's an invitation okay it's an invitation it's not an order because if you want you accept right if you want you accept it's not an order it's not a command but it's an imperative okay it's an imperative sentence no tiene un sujeto miren no tiene un sujeto inicia directamente con la acción Okay. Next sentence. Who wants to read it? Please, John, please for dinner. Okay, thank you very much. Please join us for dinner. Please join us for dinner. Very good. Now let's read next one. Who wants to read it? Choice the Irish Wolfhound, not the German Shepherd. Very good. What are we talking about that? What are we talking about there? We are talking uh, about uh huh. Advices. Yeah, it's it's advice. It's advice about getting a dog, right? Getting a dog. They are choosing between two dog breeds. Okay, están escogiendo entre dos um, razas de perro, ¿verdad? Okay. The Irish Wolfhound and the German Shepherd. And what it says? Choose this one and don't choose German Shepherd, okay? That's what it's saying. The last one, the last one, last sentence. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? The last one. Wear your gold necklace with the dress. Okay, so what is that? That's advice, okay? Advice. That's advice, but we use an imperative sentence here. It doesn't have a subject. It start with the action and it has a complement. Okay, it has a complement. Not all the imperative sentences are instructions or commands. Okay, they could be invitation. They could be advice, okay? Bueno, ahora que ya vimos que a qué se refiere y cómo se arman, que no tiene sujeto, etc. Vamos. We are going to split into the breakout rooms. Okay. We are going to split into the breakout rooms. You are going to watch the video I sent through the chat. Okay. Yo les envié un video en el chat. And it's about uh, a recipe, okay, una receta. It's Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver is a British chef. It's a very good chef, top chef, okay. And it lasts three minutes in that recipe. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer cuando ya hayamos visto el video con nuestros compañeros, okay? Vamos a answer the questions. Vamos a contestar las preguntas. So we are going to watch the video. Then we are going to answer the questions. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que tienen que fijarse? 
Okay, number one, what does Jamie Oliver do? What does Jamie Oliver do? What recipe does Jamie cook in the video? What recipe does Jamie cook in the video? Number three, how many ingredients does Jamie add to prepare the marinade? And what ingredients are they? Okay. Number four, how much salt does he use for seasoning the marinade? Y por último, vamos a escribir la receta, ¿ok? Vamos a escribir la receta. Nos vamos a guiar por esos verbos que están ahí en esa listita, ¿ok? Yo voy a estar yendo de, uh, de sala en sala para poder ayudarles, pero la idea es que lo pueden hacer ustedes solos. Do you have any question about this activity? Questions? No questions? Ok, ya les envié los slides y ya les envié el video también. Ok, así que ahorita vamos a dividirnos. Ok. Teacher, a mí no me abre ese video. Let me check. Okay. Los voy a poner de tres en tres, creo. A ver, let me see. Anybody else has that same problem? Everybody can access to the video? Uh, a mí sí me carga, vamos a ver. Los voy a dividir, a mí también, quizás eh, no en parejas, sino que lo vamos a hacer en, en grupos de más, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, we have, en grupos de cuatro quizás los voy a poner, ¿ok? There you okay. Go. There you are. Sí, que lo hubiera pasado lista antes. Hey, qué buena idea. Pero ya los mandé. Thank you, Carlito. Eduardo. Sorry, I'm going to take the attendance first, okay? Thank you very much, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. And let's start. Alejandro. <laughs> okay. Now, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen. Mejía Present. Álvarez. Okay. Astrid Present Tatiana. Teacher. Thank you. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramirez. Present. Ok. Carlos, uh, perdón, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valivieso. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. 
present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio. Dijo Mateo. que se le había ido la luz. Oh, it's true. Eh, okay. Le mandó un, oh, por WhatsApp. Ok, thank you. And Giovanni, are you there? Ok. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Ok, there you are. Jonathan, good. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Okay. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. Uh, it says Nancy no puede escuchar nada, dice. Vamos a ver. Nancy, eh, pero si no me escucha, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo le voy a dar la instrucción? Okay. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Ok. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Present. Um, okay, thank you. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Y Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay. Anansi. Ok, ahorita los divido. Uh, we're going to split into the breakout, breakout rooms, ok. There you are. Acá sí escucho. Ok, very good. Y la otra no, no puedo, no sé por qué. Ok, entonces uh, no lo he asignado, ¿verdad? No, me voy a salir de la otra y tal vez me voy a asignar acá porque no, uh, bye. no escucho okay. nada. Está okay. lloviendo muy fuerte. Ok. En la cuatro estaba supuestamente. Yes. Thank you. Hi, Omar.
that minute and a half. Look at the colour, guys. Look at the colour. That is flavour. It's caramelising. Look at that. So I want to kind of pair it up with sprouting broccoli here. Boiled sweet potato. I'm going to smash it. And let's plate up. Very simple midweek dinner. It's tasty and really, really healthy. That is done. Look at that, guys. Nice sprouting broccoli here. Olives. Break over. Couple. Flavour. Phenomenal. Got the lemon. That's char grilled. Teacher, estamos viendo los videos para poder unirnos después y contestarlo. Teacher, está en mute, teacher. Thank you. Uh, correct, it's, it's okay. Everybody watching the video and then you comment and you answer the questions, okay? Okay, Good. thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Dame Giovanni. Eh, me pudiese comentar así un ratito qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Más o menos entendido, pero no exactamente. Watch the video. Okay, you are going to watch the video and then you are going to answer the questions que les envié. Okay. Primero, ver el video. Watch the video. Three minutes. Correct? Uh -huh. And then answer the questions with your classmates. Okay, Joan? Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Este, y en este caso, el tema es? Imperatives. <laughs> Imperative sentences. What is imperative? Imperatives. Era lo que vimos en toda la explicación al principio. Commands, instructions, advice. Es que acabo de entrar. Ah, ok, Giovanni. Ok. Uh, the imperatives are instructions. Es cuando uno da instrucciones o da órdenes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces las oraciones no tienen un, un sujeto, sino que solamente se da la orden, ¿verdad? Se le dice la acción, ¿ok? Do your homework. It's an imperative, ¿ok? Do your homework. Or, for example, take out the garbage. Saque la basura, right? Take out the garbage. No le estoy diciendo un sujeto, sino que simple y sencillamente digo la acción. Lo, lo que ¿okay? se tiene que hacer. The order mm -hmm, or the command. Command. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. Yeah. When you char grill the lemon. Hi guys, hope you're well. Okay, we're going to make a really delicious, nutritious, super quick chicken meal. This is marinated chicken with lemon and spice, grilled on a char grill. This said about a minute and a half. Look at the colour, guys. Look at the colour. And that is flavour. It's caramelising. Look at that. So I want to kind of pair it up with the sprouting broccoli here.
Hi, Edwin. Hello. Uh -huh. the, the power went out. The, oh, me sacó. okay. Me okay. sacó, pero ajá, ya vino la luz y ya estoy. <laughs> okay, you, you got reconnected. Okay, I'm going to assign you to a group. What, what room were you? Uh, just, ¿A cuál me dice? What uh -huh. room? Yes. No recuerdo, solo sé que ella estaba, creo que era Carlos, Karina, y no recuerdo quién más. Let me check here. Oh, yes, it's room four. Oh, okay. Room four. There you are. Okay, thank you. Okay. Pero ahí no sería eh, primero decir cuántas. Porque ah, dice how many. Ah, eh, many. Eh, ah, ¿En uh -huh. cuál sería esa? En la, en la tres. En la tres. Dice, how many, how many ingredients? ingredients. Y después dice what ingredients. O sea, primero te ah, tenemos que decir el número y sí. después decir cuáles. Tiene razón. Ingredientes son. Quiero ver, al principio salen cuatro, creo, cuatro. Yo solo vi el chicken, el onions, no, pero chicken no porque es para marinar ajá. lo que, ajá, eh, ah, marinó para con... marinar, uh -huh. para marinar, oh, lo, con puré, con puré de, de tomate, ajá, cebolla, onion, cebolla, La, ajá. Está hablando. lemon, lemon, hello teacher, hello girls, I feel very excited. <laughs> I see you very excited with this recipe, but remember that we have to use our vocabulary, okay? Let's use the vocabulary, okay? Okay. You can use number three, number one, number two about the questions, right? And then you can say the answers. Try to use your vocabulary. Okay, teacher. Number three. <laughs> Okay. So how many okay. ingredients? Four ingredients. More or less. Um, four ingredients. That's absolutely delicious. A lovely quick midweek meal. Well, okay, we're gonna make a really idea behind the marathon. Down here. We have got spices, black pepper. Okay, we're make five pepper. Uh, ah, no, five. Eso so, es más. Take this as a recipe. Porque, so, porque, it's porque it's primero, porque first, he mixed eh, varios, no sé, varios, some. como, some, some, some. Eh, con, condimentos. Okay, spices. 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 Like uh -huh. five spices first. Okay. Mix like uh -huh. five spices. Okay. Then, then black he, pepper, uh, black pepper, pepper, cayenne, onion, cayenne, so, onion, uh, uh, paprika, lemon. paprika, turmeric, mm -hmm. turmeric, turmeric, lemon. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Black okay. pepper, paprika. Um, how do you onion. say? A ajo. Garlic. 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 Grates, right? Grates. Garlic. Ajá. And. We have got spices, black. Pepper here, paprika, cayenne. We've got the chili and a little seasoning of salt. Take this as a recipe, and if you don't like the spice, you can pull it back. You can try different spices. You can make it your own. So okay. I'm going to grate some garlic. Onion, onion, uh huh. Lemon to one side. Lemon, fragrant skin and garlic. Yes, evenly tasty. Lemon, but the like how do you say? Skin. Skin. skin, yeah, lemon, lemon skin. skin, yes, and it then he skin is unbelievably.
Okay. Uh -huh. juice, lemon, lemon juice. juice. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to finely chop the parsley here. Okay, the, so for the marinade, then, about seven, then, right? Seven then, or eight. Uh, chop, chop like uh, parsley. Parsley. Uh, parsley. Perhil, parsley. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. how, how do you spell parsley? Uh, P-A-R-S-L-E-Y. Parsley. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Number four. Number four. I'm going, I, I'm going to another group, okay? So, uh, okay, see thank you later. You. Thank, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mosh. Vamos a poner los seis que están ahí en el plato. Hi, guys. Hope you're well. Okay. Potato and tea. Okay, salt. Okay. Shimmer. Eh, no sé, no sé. Ajá, sal. Shimmer. No. Take this as a recipe. ¿Qué es eso? Y alguien lo conoce en español para poderlo poniendo en el traductor. Turmeric. Excuse me. Turmeric. Oh. English, let's use the words that he is saying. Black pepper. Black pepper. Africa. Uh -huh. Africa, okay. Okay. Black pepper. Africa. Uh -huh. What is the other one? Sal, garlic. Uh-huh. Sal. Onion. Onion. Ahí, cebolla ahí. Yeah, he, he grates the onion and the garlic. Okay. How do you say cilantro? Uh, well, I, I think he's not using uh, cilantro. He's Broccoli. using parsley, Broccoli. I think. No, parsley. Parsley, P A R S L E Y, parsley. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ya tenemos los ingredientes, pasamos a, a la otra pregunta. How much salt does no? How much salt does he use for season no seasoning the marinade? Seasoning the marinade. Alguien se fijó en el video cuánta sal. Cuánta sal. <laughs> Is a little bit. <laughs> oh, hey. Una pista. <risa> Medio cup. Teacher, es que cup, cup, este cup señor es, habla bien es, rápido. Es taza. Y no podemos poner one cup. No, no, no. Es one spoon. Maybe. Uh, no, he's, he only says a little of. A little of salt. Ok. A little, a little of, of a little. It means o sea, un poco, poco de sal. Yeah, a little. So a it little means of... that you decide. You decide if you want more, then you put some more. If you want less, then you put some some less. Okay. So he says a little of salt for seasoning. Okay. Giovanni, this is real little. English. That's why he speaks like that, but that's real English. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, next question. Write the receipt. Recipe. 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 Yeah, recipe. Receta. Recipe. Recipe. Okay. Recipe. Okay. Uh, mix. Sería uh, mezcla. Para, para los compañeros que, que no lo han traducido. Mix es mezcla. Great sería rayar. Prepare sería preparar. Cut, cortar. Prop sería frotar. Eh, char grill es cargar al, al asador. El boil. Eh, creo que es hervir, ¿no? Ah, hervir, perdón. Es hervir. Smash es aplastar. Y serve es, creo que presentar. O, 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 servir. o servi servir. Servir, ok. Bien, entonces eso ya es traducido para que vayamos viendo cómo, qué hizo en cada uno. O sea, mix, qué... Vamos a poner en mix. Eh, eh, quiero ver cómo se traduce especias. Ahí vamos a poner prácticamente ejemplo, todo lo que dice. Spice. Vamos. Pero por... por eh, eh, en partes, claro. Excuse me, my mm. <laughs> Step for step. Mm. Oh, okay. Mix. First mix. Specials. Okay. Eh, y, y qué más? Is uh, oil, olive oil. Somebody. Tell me, please. Okay, this is in general. This is in general. So what is the action? Okay. Mix the ingredients for the marinade, okay? Mix the spices, okay? Marinade. Yeah, mix okay. the spices. And then what, what is the other? Great. Okay, no. great. Great the garlic. Great. Okay, great. Rayar, great. Okay, the garlic, okay. And the onion. Sí, okay. Hmm? And the onion. Garlic and the onion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody. Prepare. Prepare. What 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 is great great? Rayar. Ahorita vamos en prepare. Este... Sí, no. Carla, Raquel. Prepare the chicken. Ustedes que saben cocinar, apenas llego a la cocina. Um, Prepare chicken, it's okay. Uh, Everybody. But then you have cut. Cut. Okay. Uh -huh. Cut lemon. Cut lemon. Um, uh, cut chicken. Giovanni? Cut, 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 Rub. Rub. cut, Rub. 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 Porque así lo se hizo. Frotó el chicken, el, el pollo, chicken. Sí, lo, lo, así Rob, lo. Chicken. Uh -huh. 
Chop chicken. Ah, cuando lo untó eh, sobre el plato. Ajá, ajá. Chop chicken. Ok, chop chicken, Joven. You are doing a good job, guys. You are doing a good job. I'm going to another room, okay? Continue working. Thank okay, you, teacher. Okay. Boy. Shark grill sería chicken, ¿verdad? How is it going? We got the turmeric and a little seasoning. So. Okay. Um, I think we have something. Um, um, somebody? <laughs> Only me. <laughs> what number are what number of the sentences are you? What, um, what sentence? Maybe the all the ones. O all the sentences? Do you have all yeah. the sentences already? Mm, I think so. Oh, this is the thing that maybe only Aster then you cook. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> and the others are like, oh, what is this? We don't cook. Do you, do you cook, Omar? Do you cook, Vladimir? Do you cook, Kevin? Teacher, uh, sorry, I, I have yeah. a problem with the internet. Uh, I okay. can't watch the video. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we're going to tell you about the video. The video is about a chef that is cooking a recipe. Okay, está preparando una receta. And he's giving instructions on how to prepare it. Está dando las instrucciones de cómo lo deben preparar. Then he uses imperative, imperative sentences. Okay. Y uh, what is the dish, guys? What is the dish that he's preparing? ¿Cuál es el uh, lemon chicken with the smashes with potato. Okay. Lemon. Ajá. Uh -huh. Chicken with smashed sweet potato. Okay, that's what he is preparing. Lemon chicken, lemon chicken, and he's using chicken breast. So he's preparing a marinade. Está preparando una marinada with spices, right? With spices. And the spices were black pepper. What else? What ingredients is he using? Tomato, pepper, onion, tomato, salt, okay. cayenne, yes, cayenne, paprika, paprika, parsley, parsley. okay, good, uh huh, parsley, parsley, wow. mm -hmm. so those are the ingredients that he's using. But this chicken is on the grill, okay? On the grill, es asado, right? On the grill. So this is what we're uh, seeing, Omar, okay? So you have to write the recipe. You have to write the recipe. Ahora ustedes tienen que escribir la receta usando los verbos. What verbs? What verbs? Uh, ¿Puede verlos, Omar, ahí en su chat? Question number five. Question number five. Write the, re the recipe. Write recipe. the recipe. recipe. The first step will be mix, right? Mix what? What does he mix? Mix. mix. The species. Spices, yeah, the species. The spices. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the spices and what spices then you can say mix the spices to get the marinade 
okay? Or for the marinade, correct? Number one, right? Mix the spices. spices. Uh -huh. um, for the marinade. For the marinade, okay. black pepper, uh -huh. uh, paprika, salt, cachena, uh, garlic. Okay, and... but then it says great. Great, raye, verdad? Great. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Great the garlic and great the uh, onion. Onion, yeah. Great the how garlic do you say... and great the onion. How do you mm -hmm. say pasta? Uh, paste. 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 Mm -hmm. Paste. Tomato paste. Yes, tomato paste. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There you are. Oh, you could say also tomato sauce. Yeah, oh, tomato okay. sauce tomato is sauce. good. Or tomato puree. Tomato puree. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon. Uh -huh. Es cierto, Vladimir. Yes. And the lemon skin, right? The lemon skin. skin. Yeah. The lemon skin. And, um, la cascara, and a, right? And a little use. And a little? Use oh, yes. Lemon. Yes. Uh huh. A little. Um, and finally, juice. I think the um, last ingredient. Uh huh, Vladimir. Hello. Yes. Oh. It says cut. Uh huh. No, no, no. Lo escuché muy bien. Estaba viendo. Estaba reproduciendo el video nuevamente. Okay, okay, there you are. At the moment, you were working very well, so I have to go to another room, okay? Continue okay. working like that. You are answering the questions, answering the questions. Okay, see you, see you. Bringing it together. Um, Ahora no, Okay, uh, prepare. Grate the onion. Chicken. Chicken. Grate the onion in garlic and garlic. The garlic and the onion. Creo que. Ah, okay. It, it's the same. Y, y prepare. Eh, eh, ¿Qué le vamos a poner? Prepare. Prepare, eh, eh, preparar. Marinade, marinade. Okay. Prepare sería ma marinade. Uh -huh. Marinade the chicken. chicken. Prepare marinade the chicken. Marinade. Marinade. Marinade, marinade. The chicken. The chicken. 
Ok. Entonces, en cut, cut, eh, que dijimos lemon and chicken. ¿Es ok? Lemon and chicken. O, o si estamos haciendo una una receta y ustedes que son no sé si, si alguna de ustedes cocina <ríe> vamos en ese orden ¿cómo sería? primero mezclamos las especies, después eh, rayamos eh, el ajo y la cebolla después preparamos la marinada del pollo después cortamos el limón y el pollo eh, frotamos el pollo, ponemos al asador el pollo, eh, hervimos el brócoli, eh, aplastamos la papa y servimos pollo, papa y brócoli. ¿Les parece así una receta? ¿Está bien? Ah, ok. Great. Great. <ríe> ok. It's great. Yes. <ríe> ok. But let's think that recipe in English, right? Oh, <laughs> okay, because I didn't hear any English. I didn't hear any English with that recipe. Hey, come on. <laughs> let's say it again. Let's say it again. Okay. okay First, okay. you mix the ingredients of the marinade, right? Then. Okay, Ra Raquel, tendrías ya tu, tu listado in English para que lo escuche la teacher? De la, um, de la receta me falta rub 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 uh -huh. rub the chicken. chicken in rub the marinade the yeah with the marinade right with the ah, marinade okay. with the marinade yes because you are untando right there you are rub uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Carla Veronica. What, what is char grill? Grill. Char grill. Uh, to cook it, but on a grill. Yeah. On a uh -huh. grill. Como en una parrilla. Esa a la right? parrilla. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. Char grill. Uh -huh. chicken. The chicken with a, a piece of the lamb, right? Boil the pumpkin or the, I'm sorry, the Boil. sweet potatoes. Boil oh, the yeah. sweet potatoes and other vegetables. And, uh, and the broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli. Uh huh. Good. Okay. Broccoli and, and sweet the potato. Sprout, uh, the sp sprout, I, I think he says. It, sprout. Teacher, teacher, excuse me, one question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, serve, serve. Is the. Serve. The, the, uh, the, the chicken, potato, and broccoli? Okay, very good. This is serve. Serve on a plate. Okay. Ah, on a plate. Serve okay. on a plate. Okay, mm -hmm. entonces sería eh, uh, chicken over potato and broccoli. Good. Okay, on the plate. Yes. What do you think, Carlita? Yes, and, and oil, oil the olive. olive. Okay, olive oil. Olive, olive. oil. Olive oil. Uh-huh. Yeah. Boil eggs. Uh huh. Put it into water, hot water on the kitchen, right? Water. Boom, herbir, boom. Herbir, yep. herbir, herbir, herbir. Yes, but we don't want to use Spanish. Sorry, teacher. Okay, okay. Si, si antes conozco lo de oficina de cocina, estoy perdido, teacher. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I understand. I understand, but the objective here is that you see the imperatives, right? I, instructions, I instructions, yeah, instructions. 
Yeah, I know, you. I know that in the kitchen, some people are not so gifted, okay? No son muy talentosos, mucho <laughs> gifted, uh -huh. But there are others that, for example, I think all women here are thinking, oh, that's a very good recipe. Yeah, it's, I can, I can make this recipe maybe on Sunday, right? Oh, they are thinking about that. <laughs> okay. Teacher, al terminar el curso lo vamos a invitar a un chicken con sweet potato. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay. Bye. Ok. Entonces vamos le dando forma ya así en, en, en receta. Are you hungry now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Okay. Okay, let's see this. Okay, everyone, let's see. What does Jamie Oliver do? What does Jamie Oliver do? Mm -hmm. He's a chef. Very good. Mm -hmm. He's a chef. Very good. He okay. Mm -hmm. He cooks recipes, okay? Very good. What recipe does Jamie cook in the video? Smashed lemon and chicken. Okay, lemon, chicken. With a smashed potato. Okay, with smashed sweet potatoes. Okay, there you are. How many ingredients does J Jamie add to prepare the marinade? And what ingredients are they? Six ingredients. Okay, about six. Let's say about because there are some others, right? Let's mm -hmm. say about uh -huh, six. Okay, which ones are they? What ingredients are they? Salt. But Black, black pepper. Uh -huh. Black pepper. Papaya. Onion. 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 Parsley. Garlic. Garlic. Uh -huh. Paprika. Okay. Paprika. Paprika. Paper. Turmeric. Turmeric. Uh -huh. Peach of salt. Um, tomato. Puree. I don't know how to say <laughs> Uh, yeah, tomato puree is okay. Okay, tomato puree. Okay, there you are. I don't know if it is, oh yeah, because that's for plural. Mm -hmm. Now, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mm -hmm. at the moment, right? Eight. So mm -hmm. that's what I said about six. lemon. Okay, lemon, lemon skin. Let's Broken. say nine. 
Uh huh. Lemon Oil. juice. Skin and and juice. Onion. Okay, very good. Onion, garlic, parsley. Okay, how much salt does he use for seasoning the marinade? How much salt? A pinch. A pinch of it? Well, a little be, pinch. Uh, we could say, as he said, he said only a little. A little. A little. A little. A little of salt. Yes. Okay, salt seasoning. Now let's see, writing the recipe. We're not gonna write it here, but can you say the recipe? Okay, everybody's saying the recipe. Mix what? The, the spices. The spices with olive oil and tomato puree. Very good, great, great. The skin the, lemon. The, uh -huh. the onion. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And the garlic. Okay. I'm going to write that one. Grate the garlic and the onion. The onion. Okay. And the lemon. Ah, the lemon skin. Okay. The garlic, uh, onion, and lemon skin. Okay. Prepare. What? What? Prepare. The chicken. Prepare. Prepare the, prepare the marinade the chicken. Okay, prepare the marinade. Okay, it's better. Prepare the, or the chicken marinade. No, the marinade. Okay, there you are. Cut. Cut. Cut lemon and chicken. Okay, the chicken breast. Onion. I don't remember if it is breast or breast. Let's say like this, uh, and, and Onion. lemon. There you are. Now, rub what? Rub the chicken with the marinade. Okay. And then char grill. Yeah. The chicken. Char grill? Yes. A chicken. And a piece lemon. of lemon. Él dice una mitad, right? A half of a lemon. A okay. lemon. A half of a, a lemon. Boil the potatoes. Okay. And broccoli. Uh -huh. Smash the, the sweet potatoes. potatoes. The sweet potatoes. Nice sweet potatoes. Okay. And then what else? And then serve. Serve on a plate, right? Mm -hmm. There you are. So if you see, imperative sentences are not all bad. No son malas, right? Because usually we think about of commands. But no, we, we can't give instructions, okay? And there are some jobs that require giving instructions like this, okay? Like a recipe. Here, it's, yes, Tommy? It's sure. Mm -hmm. It's with potato as camote. Uh, yes, yes, it is. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ese sería no, como no lo, lo más... Por... Por eso no lo mezcla con, con nada, porque ya es dulce, ¿no? uh, Yes, correct. Aunque no, en realidad el camote como tal no tiene un sabor dulce, dulce. ¿verdad? Como no, que, un poco. Sí, es, es para dulces y, y combina mejor con dulce. Yeah, you're right, you're right. No. Ok, guys, ok, guys. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, how do you feel the activity? How did you feel the activity? Did you like the activity? Yes. Yes, I like. Okay. Yes, I like activity. Okay, then. Uh, I have to take the attendance again. We have only seven more minutes. I'm going to leave this thing. Pero quisiera cambiarlos un poquito. Está bien interesante, ¿verdad? Con la, con la receta. Pero quisiera eh, llevarlos. Permítanme. 
en el en your manuals, ok, en your manuals. Ya solo tenemos cinco minutos, pero vamos a ver la conversación que tenemos en el manual para que vean instrucciones dentro de una oficina, ok. Okay, here we are. Marcia and Luke, okay, please send this package. Yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely, okay. Now, let's repeat after me, everybody. Um, quiero que se fijen en algo bien importante. Así que vayan poniéndole atención a cada, a cada frase que decimos donde hay imperativos, ¿ok? Please send this package. Everybody? Please, Please send this package. package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma Do you need anything else? <laughs> Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Actually, actually yes, 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 write, write, yes, write yes, a memo yes, about the new date for the general meeting. meeting. Right away. Right, right, right away. away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me, Give me one, one of those, those, those memo stickers, stickers please. please. Sure, here you go. Sure. 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 Oh. Oh. oh, and look. Oh, oh. and look. Please supervise the new interns. Please, Please supervise, supervise the new, the new interns. interns. Absolutely. 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 Okay, do you have any question about this conversation, uh, the vocabulary or something else? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Eh, eh, en look to uh -huh. yes yes mm, pronunciation ma um, um, actually no, say. no in to look take them right away look yes ma ma'am ma'am uh, ma'am ma'am ma 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 Ajá, okay. it, it means, uh, señor, es una frase, de, es una palabra de respeto, ok, refiriéndose, señora con respeto, ok. Ah, yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Es you. como cuando decimos yes, sir, eh, para el hombre, ¿verdad? Decimos yes, sir, para la señora sería yes, ma'am, ok. Thank you. There you are. Do you have any other question about this conversation? No? Sure. Sure. It means uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. This is an answer. Okay. Sure. Yes, I will do. Okay. There you are. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que quería que se fijaran? Okay. Do you notice something with the with the imperative sentences here? Do you notice something extra? Notan algo más en las oraciones imperativas que están acá? The word else. Else, okay, yes. it means uh, more, else. Alguna cosa más, right? Uh -huh. But the word, a very important word that it is in company of the imperative sentences is please, okay? En estas que son órdenes o son commands, we say please because we want to be polite, okay? We want to be polite. 
We don't want to uh, seem rude. Okay, we want to be rude with our co-workers. So we say, please. Do you see the position in the sentence? Please goes at the beginning. Please send this package. But also please can go at the end of the sentence. Okay, for example, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Okay, give me one of those memo stickers, please. So you can use please at the beginning or you can use please at the end, right? But you are asking something polite. You are asking for someone to do something that you need politely. Saying please, okay? Remember that, remember that, saying please. Cuando damos una orden, una, um, en este caso sí, prácticamente sería una orden o una instrucción de hacer algo, ¿verdad? Que queremos que alguien haga por nosotros o dentro de su trabajo, de sus labores, ¿verdad? But we use please. Please. Okay. Yes. So now, what are the commands? Let's see here. Okay, commands are direct instructions or orders to do something, okay? Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something, okay? Use please to sound more polite. Use please to sound more polite. Okay, for example, please place an order for more boxes. Another example, call the supervisor, please. Call the supervisor, please. Okay, supervisor, please. yes. So let's use the conversation above as a reference and let's say number one, a memo about the new date. Let's complete this one. Right. Right. Correct. Write a memo. Number two. View. Give me. Okay. Give, give me, me one of those stickers. Number three. Supervise. Supervisor. Supervise the new interns. Okay. There you are. There you are. So uh, tomorrow we are going to continue just a little bit of a talking about imperatives and we are going to do a review also of daily activities. So now let's uh, take the attendance and because time is up, over. There we are. Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Person teacher. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval. Oh. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Yeah. Ana del Carmen. Present. Mejía Álvarez, ok. Astrid, no, a... Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present. Ok. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present, teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Uh, Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Luis Roberto Present. Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Iveto Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mosso Álvarez. Present. Excuse me, okay. Uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay. 
there we are. And let me check uh, because today we have Uh, the turn for June 1st is for, uh, it says Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales, pero no está, ok, pues, así que alguien quisiera su lugar. Lastimosamente, pues sí es uh, solamente para los uh, que tengo entre los 20, ¿verdad? Córralo, al que le toca mañana, pasa okay. la hora. Ok, ¿estaría bien? Veamos a quién le toca mañana. Mañana le toca, le tocaba a Jonathan. Jonathan is not here either. Jonathan is not here. So, Vladimir Antonio, do you want to stay? Vladimir Antonio, do you want to stay? Uh, do you have questions? I'm sorry, teacher. Este se fue la luz aquí donde estoy. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, no problem then. Okay. Well, time is over. If you want to get disconnected, it's okay. Uh, ¿Alguien quiere el turno? No. Ok, acuérdense de hacer las actividades en la plataforma. Please do your homework and participate in the discussion, ok? Ok, then. See you. Okay, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Have Bye. a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. bye, bye. Teacher, aprovechando una preguntita. Sí, dígame. Here you go, que estaba ahí en la, en la conversación. Ajá. Es una expresión, así como nice, nice, have a nice day. Uh, no, here you go, es, es una expresión. Es cuando le entregamos algo a alguien. Oh, ok, aquí yeah. Tiene, aquí tiene. Yes, yes, and it is an es, expression just like that other. Correct. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Good okay. night. Ok, there you are. Ok, have a good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Teacher, uh -huh. ¿puedo agarrar los 10 minutos yo? I think so, Wendy. Just let me check, please, because I don't remember in what list. Pero mire, y siempre uh -huh. van a tocar los 10 al final del curso. <laughs> o ya ver, no. A ver, a ver. Um, a mí me toca hasta el final del curso. Ok, es, uh, si, uh, si va a haber espacio, porque si, por ejemplo, teníamos otro que no responde, ¿verdad? Que no vino a los cursos, entonces queda ese espacio, podríamos utilizarlo en ese momento para usted. Uh -huh. Ah, vale, porque a mí me va a tocar allá como por el 20 o por el 16, no sé. También, okay. pero... El 21 vale. creo que la tengo. El 21 uh -huh. me toca. Ajá. Yes, the 21st. Uh -huh. Ok, but no problem, vale. you can, uh, if, you have, if you have a question, I can help you with that. Ok. Ay, es que a mí me cuesta todo. I know and I understand. Remember that you are in module two, so don't worry. Don't worry. No corra. Primero caminar. Okay. First of all, okay. to walk. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me. Dígame. Los, me tengo que aprender primero los verbos o cómo. Vaya, para esto necesitamos ir aprendiendo el vocabulario que nos va enseñando el manual. Okay. El manual nos va llevando paso a paso, ¿verdad? Entonces, en el manual usted mira al principio en las, en las páginas 6 y 7 creo que está. Ahí hay un mapa, uh -huh. ahí hay un mapa del vocabulario que debe de aprender, ¿ok? Ahí hay okay. un mapa. Déjeme compartirle eso para enseñarle por dónde va la cosa, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Sí, porque el manual, la verdad, yo solo lo abro cuando usted lo abre ahí en, en clase. No. Ah, 
Entonces tendría que abrir el manual, o sea, porque vaya, yo me estaba poniendo a practicar en mi hora de almuerzo uh -huh. las conversaciones que usted nos manda. Ajá. Y aprovecho a hacer las actividades, por lo menos ahora mandó una y Ajá. salí ponchada porque creo que como cuatro contesté buenas. Oh, ok. But let me, let me show you, porque esas son actividades, cuando yo les mando una actividad así, es como para reforzar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como para reforzar el uso de la estructura que el manual nos indica que debemos aprender, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, déjenme llegar al, al mapita que le quiero enseñar. Aquí en este mapa, miren, en la página 6, usted puede ir viendo lo que debe ir aprendiendo. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. Unit 1 es work-related events, ¿ok? Work-related uh -huh. events. So, ¿Qué es lo que tiene que aprender? Regular activities, ¿ok? Regular activities. Everyday situations, okay? Specific uh, job positions, okay? Job position and also your uh, personal finance information, okay? Uh, work perks and that. Ahora, aquí donde dice vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary, si usted se fija, hay actividades, okay? que llevan un verbo y un complemento, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la actividad de acá? Check my okay. email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting. ¿Aprendimos eso en la unidad 1 o se le quedó eso eh, bien grabadito? Un poco. ¿Verdad? Ya lo va por lo menos conociendo, identificando, uh -huh. ¿verdad? A medida uh -huh. que usted lo va utilizando, se va reforzando, se va quedando más, ¿ok? Entonces, okay. mi consejo es, my advice, the best advice is que usted se guíe, guide by this, ¿ok? Guíese por lo que dice el mapa, que es lo que debe de haber aprendido o lo que debe aprender. Entonces, okay. si usted maneja time expressions, for example, every year, monthly, daily, Etcétera, y todas las time expressions que aprendimos en el manual, ahí vamos hechas. Sí. Okay. January, ah, no, era el. Yearly. Yearly, ajá. Yearly. Ajá. Yearly, ok. So, esas son expresiones de tiempo. Sí. Time expressions. That's to describe when you do the activity. Okay. Cuando usted hace esa actividad, entonces usted no va a decir solo, I check my email. Le van a decir, sí, pero ¿cuándo? Pues, ¿verdad? Entonces usted okay. tiene que saber responder eso, ¿no? Entonces mm -hmm. viene, I check my email every day. Ah, ya amplié mi vocabulario, ¿verdad? Amplié mi vocabulario. Luego, la otra expresión que debe conocer es how much. Ok, how much. How much. Y conocimos how many para ver la diferencia. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Todavía es básico. ¿Entiendes? Uh -huh. o sea, ahorita eh, no lo sabemos todo acerca de how much. No lo sabemos todo acerca de how many. Porque vamos elemento por elemento. Ahorita solo uh -huh. hemos conocido que existe how much para preguntar del precio y hablar de dinero. Y que existe how many para hablar de todas las otras cosas como los días, los bonos y las cosas que sí puedo contar del dinero, ¿verdad? Las cosas que sí puedo contar. Por ejemplo, sí. decíamos las cosas normales, ¿verdad? Como eh, la ropa, podemos contar las luces, podemos contar ¿qué? las partes de nuestro cuerpo, cuántos ojos, los ojos se cuentan. Entonces, uh -huh. para eso usamos how many. Entonces, si usted cumple con este vocabulario que lo aprendió bien y lo sabe utilizar, cumplimos el objetivo, ¿ok? okay. Cumplimos el objetivo. Eh, si usted quiere ir adelantando, claro, usted puede aprenderse verbos, puede aprendérselos, ¿verdad? Pero los va a reconocer y a reafinar en su, y a, a dejarlos bien clavaditos ahí en el, en el disco duro, bien guardados cuando los utilice, ¿ok? Utilizando, okay. utilizando. Entonces, por eso es que vamos parte por parte. Ahora, la segunda unidad, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que aprender? Mir. ¿Qué dice? 
expression, expression. Ajá. States. To state urgency. 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 Ajá. O sea, para decir que necesitamos algo hecho. Ya. Urgente. Exacto. Okay. Y, y ahí le dice las expresiones. Todavía no las hemos visto porque apenas vamos en el segundo día y vamos elemento por elemento. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿cuál elemento tenemos aquí ahorita? It says, express how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. ¿Qué era eso que vimos ayer? Adverbs of frequency, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Los adverbios de frecuencia. And also the question. The question is, how often do you check your email, for example. Mm -hmm. Como allá en la primera unidad vimos las actividades, vimos las time expressions, vimos ahora en la unidad dos, how often do you do that activity? How often do you check your email? Mm -hmm. Y usted sabe responder ahora con qué frecuencia. Mm -hmm. I check my email um, or I sometimes check my email every morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si usted se fija, vimos elemento por elemento. Ahora ya lo unimos y ya lo manejamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted okay. quiere adelantar, claro que sí. Puede adelantar y puede ir estudiando cosas que le vayan afinando o que le vayan eh, ubicando dentro de su propio lugar de trabajo. Las cosas que usted en su propio puesto de trabajo necesita decir, ¿ok? Okay. Esas ya, pero ahora ya tiene la base, cómo se dice y cómo se estructura, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y cómo okay. se responde. Entonces ahora ya lo que puede adelantar ustedes poniendo las actividades propias, ¿ok? For example, uh, podríamos decir, I cook breakfast every morning, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero eso ya es personal. Hay gente que no cocina en el desayuno, entonces no necesita decir eso, ¿right? Y así usted va poniendo cada cosa, cada cosa que usted hace. Así puede adelantar. Uh, okay. Buscando el significado de, de sus propias actividades. Por ejemplo, ir familiarizando. Eh, o, ajá, exacto. O de una manera de agregando el vocabulario. ¿Verdad? Okay. Agregando vocabulario. Con las cosas que yo hago todos los días, usted puede hacerlo. ¿Ok? If uh, maybe... I check my email on the computer or on the phone, ¿ok? Ya depende de cada persona, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? okay. Cosas así. Ir agregando vocabulario dentro de mis propios roles, ¿verdad? Perfecto. ¿Ok? Ay, okay. Ah, pues entonces sí, porque yo esto de, del manual, como le digo, solo cuando se lo ponía en la clase que me metí, le iba siguiendo lo que usted decía. Pero ya sé que Ajá. tengo que irme familiarizando con el vocabulario que está aquí para entender cómo estamos desarrollando la, las actividades. Exactly, porque estas son las competencias que va a desarrollar. Por eso decimos nuestros objetivos al principio de la clase. Porque Ajá. al final de la clase debemos saber si lo cumplimos o no, ¿verdad? Okay. Ajá. Por ejemplo, ahora era eh, identificar los imperativos. Ahorita era... Casi que imposible que, ah, ya me los puedo de memoria. No, verá, ahorita ya sé, ah, no lleva sujeto. Puede ser una invitación, puede ser una orden, puede ser esto, puede ser. Entonces usted empieza a identificar, ¿verdad? Identify, mm -hmm. identify the imperatives, las órdenes, the commands, ¿verdad? Y mm -hmm. ya mañana vamos a ir agregando y vamos a llegar al punto de que si le dan una orden, y le van a decir, lo quiero para allá. O oh, uh -huh. eso se puede esperar. ¿Verdad? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Gracias, teacher. There eh, you are. Se puede uh -huh. estudiar eso. O este, porque generalmente lo hago en mi hora de almuerzo. Entonces okay. voy a estudiar eso. Y voy a poner quizás un poquito más de... Para irme familiarizando. Ok. Ahí ya puede decir una oración usted. I study... At my lunch time or at noon, okay? I study uh -huh. my lunch. Ajá. Uh -huh. At my lunch um, time. Lunch at my lunch time. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Correct. Ahí ya tiene una, mire, de las actividades que usted hace diariamente. I study mm. at my lunch time. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
¿A qué horas almuerza usted? What time do you have lunch? I lunch. I have lunch. I have lunch in 12 o'clock. At noon. Okay. At noon. Uh -huh. uh -huh. At noon. 12 o'clock and it's the middle of the day, right? The middle day. So at noon. At noon. Uh -huh. okay. I have a lunch. 12 at uh -huh. noon. Ok, good, good. So, y también como usted a esa hora tiene el almuerzo, usted me dice que a esa hora estudia. Entonces, I study at noon. Ok. I study at noon. Good. You see, I study at noon. I uh -huh. study at noon. Ok. Ya tenemos una actividad diaria, ¿ve? Entonces, uh -huh. así es como vamos ubicando. Y siempre vámonos a la más mínima eh, expresión. Una oración. ¿Qué es lo que dice una oración? Un sujeto, un verbo y un complemento. Eso es todo. ¿Ok? okay. Usemos la misma información de la pregunta. ¿Ok? Está bien. Gracias, teacher. Ok, my pleasure. Good evening, uh, tomorrow, Wendy. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> ok, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.